What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Misha. I am back with another episode, okay? Um, This has been a very requested topic. Um, Today, we're talking about booking software for massage therapists, esthetician, and any, particularly any type of service provider that you may be. Um, I'm going to talk about five today, five of the popular ones that I know that I'm familiar with that I try to use. I've used it at one point or at least attempted to. So let's talk about it. Um, let's get right straight into it. Um, if you're new to this channel, make sure you like, subscribe. It takes me time to do these videos. Okay. I am a mom and a full-time entrepreneur. Okay. Meaning I get like literally entrepreneurship is all I do. Okay. So make sure you subscribe you feel me like share the video um share with a friend that can benefit from it i mean it, it costs nothing to like and share <laughs> so uh, let's start with um schedulicity okay let's talk about the schedulicity in the pros and the cons okay so schedulicity is they offer a free plan as well as an unlimited plan so this is the website you see how it's free and it's unlimited um the pros um it was very simple to set up very easy process to get started um and they also have an add-on system where you can add things on instead of it being a built-in price so you can add on to things um, what else um and a free plan is great that's a pro because some people don't start off with free they just have free trials and stuff like that but they actually have a free plan that you can use that's great now the cons i would have to say that possibly having only 10 bookings a month on the free plan may be a con to some people but when you're just getting started that may be more than enough because when you're just getting started you might be part-time and you don't work that often so just it just it is what it is you don't have as many bookings in the beginning so free might work for some that are part-time um and also could possibly be a con is the unlimited plan it might be more expensive than others the 34.99 um they might be a little expensive for small business owners um so that's a con for some okay regardless of anything they have a lot to offer um next let's do vagaro vagaro okay a lot of people know about vagaro because they literally advertise everywhere so you must be under the rock you must be under a rock if you don't know about vagaro so vagaro um what did i write down the pricing they have a one month free trial that's pretty decent it's for a full month you can see how it is and how that structure works for you um then after that you see here it's 25 dollars per month um with the 25 dollars per month you get online booking on you can use social media apps um a thousand free email marketing messages to send each month that's more than enough email marketing messages um, for us sole proprietors um they have a free credit card reader that's a pro um they also have the add-on feature thing where you can add on things without it being built into the price you can just add on things that you need not necessarily um paying for stuff that you don't need um we know the pro is a thousand free email marketing messages per month um the $25 a month plan that's affordable to some people, you know, $25 a month is good, you know, not that bad. Um, I also think what's great about them is if you can see here, they sell memberships, packages, and gift certificates. So I know a lot of massage therapists like to do packages and sell package plans so people can pay all at once. But I think the move, the new wave is going to be memberships. Selling memberships is going to be great for the long run. Um, like your clientele, the you know, the people that's, that's locked in with you, having those memberships is going to be key. Cons. Possible cons could be... Um, 
receiving payment sometimes can be a, a bit of a process it could be a little longer um this is years ago so i don't know if they've changed it or not but i know that sometimes with vagaro the payment receiving payment through their system can take a little time so you know most of us we want our money right now we want it right away and with vagaro it might take a little time also yeah that's it that's pretty much it uh, vagaro has a lot to offer so Actually, I think that's all I wrote down for the cons of Agaro. Let's move on to the next thing. Um, <clears throat> equity scheduling. Oh, so I actually forgot to pull equity up. Am I saying it right? Equity scheduling. Equity. Okay. So, you know, equity scheduling, you guys, is a part of Squarespace. So I think Squarespace, Squarespace bought them out of something, but they're now basically a part of Squarespace. So they're under the same company. So as you can see here, um, they have a free trial. You can try for seven days. And they also have three three plans you can do. So it's like a tier program. So the emerging business, $14. The growing business, $23. And the powerhouse, $45. Or you can pay annually and save a little, little bread. Now, what did I write down for pros for this? Um, they have Apple Calendar integration that's a pro um it integrates perfectly with squarespace if you're using squarespace for any type of booking and stuff like that or already now you it's easy to just integrate this um google calendar uh, so you can keep track of your business and your appointments and stuff um and they also accept payment from paypal and stripe i think that's clutch um now, some possible cons for some could be the SMS texting thing costs more. It's not in the plan. Um, well, it may be in one of the plans, but I don't know if it's in the emerging. I don't think maybe it's not in the emerging or the grown. Maybe it's in the powerhouse. But let's see. One the SMS. So I don't think it's an emerging. You have to get growing or powerhouse to do the SMS. Or um, I don't see any add-ons. So that's a possible con because a lot of people love SMS that helps them with their business. Everybody loves the SMS thing. Um, Sometimes people say that the, the aesthetic, the look of, of equity is not that aesthetically pleasing to the eye for clients. Um, but I think there's a way around that with custom, um, with custom website building, like even if you can use Canva, something like that. If I'm not mistaken, it's equity. I'm going to get back to y'all on that one. But if I'm not mistaken, you can customize. It takes a little time, but you can customize your site and um, use like programs like Canva to customize your website all on your own without like a, a website build or anything like that. Um, otherwise, um, it doesn't look that branded if that is the case and there is no free version of equity scheduling besides the seven day free trial so those are possible cons now let's move on <clears throat> style seeds style seeds okay i use style seed for a very long time actually still to this day i'm debating on if i'm gonna change or not it's just that i already have like um reviews on there and stuff like that but style seat y'all so style seat right um style seat has a free plan for sure they have a free plan it's like the called the marketing plan like you see here it's a marketing plan and you have a free business listing zero monthly subscriptions um you have a zero dollar credit card fees um and style seat get some you know bookings to help you grow to get a part of the the price so you got a price accordingly because for you to start out they want a percentage of your services it's when they bring you in clients um so 
they also besides that the free plan they also have the um unlimited like a plan is either the free one which is the marketing plan or you get the 35 dollar a month plan where everything is included they don't take i don't think they take money out at that point so pros for style c very 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 easy to use style c is very very beginner friendly um in the the marketing plan that is free so that's a free version um it's set up where you can get paid for no shows so you can enforce like a cancellation policy of some sort they set it up that way um which drives you more revenue in the long run um and they also have like this thing called smart pricing like if you're in demand and they book and someone wants to book you around four or five o'clock and it's like people have been trying to book that time and you're like you know you're busy and you're you know like you're in demand they will but based on your competition and people that's in your industry, they will go up on the price and charge a little more for that spot. So it's like you're competing. They're letting the customer know like you're competing with other people. This therapist is, is in demand. So if you want them, instead of paying that's usual one hundred dollars, you're gonna pay one thirty and you can get this therapist kind of thing. So they got that. Now cons with style see this clients complain so it's not necessarily for it seems like it might be great for the business owner but the clients and the you know they might not be too into it some are some people don't care but some people not like into like the whole extra fees thing like they have to pay um a credit card fee and stuff like that um especially when it's time for them to check out and some clients don't like the price increase because they were expecting a certain price and then they go on the website it's more than what they were expecting um and sometimes i notice that it's hard to alternate between like the directory and the business part of the website like okay i'm a business owner but i want to book somebody on style seat they will keep bring you back to your business profile it's like i'm trying to book somebody i'm, I'm look i want to look through the profiles of other people and I want to book me a facial or something but they be a little petty on there like when I'm trying to book a hairstylist or something like that so it's hard to um alternate between the two some it's, it's not there's not a deal breaker or anything but just something to to be noticed about and um and they also I don't think they have it that you're able to take deposits at the moment but the thing with style C like they customer service will get back to you and they're like open like they always ask me like they open to changing things like you know what I and mean, we might add that to our roster or something maybe for next year we can change or implement that so they always change and they're growing and changing they they're they're like open minded so that's dope even though they got all them client fees they still have a lot to offer okay let's move on Booksy. Booksy. <clears throat> so Booksy is a very, very popular that's on the rise. Like they just came out of nowhere and they just started taking over a little bit, you know. But um I think Booksy has a lot to offer. They um it's like when you're making a profile with them, it's like everything is laid out for you to do step by step. So I like that about them. Um, currently, Booksy, they have a free trial. Then after that, it's $30 a month, as you can see here, plus tax. And they also have something called Boost, where they help you uh, market you and get you extra clients. And they charge a one-time commission fee per each new client so if you get the client again you're not going to get charged commission fee but every new client that they bring into you they are going to charge for that don't know how much that is though but um also this 30 dollars if is just for you but if you have like staff members or somebody else that you like to book here and there that's a part or you have you know people that work for you it's an extra 20 dollars per month for them as well plus tax so pros, let's go over pros for Booksy. Um, it's easy to navigate. I think it's very, very easy to navigate through the website. They kind of, it's like step-by-step kind of thing. Um, it's all laid out for you, okay? It's like literally all laid out for you. It's a lot, but it's, a, it's all laid out for you. Um, the boost thing, I think that's great. 
Like that's really good. And I've heard good reviews about Boost being able to help you get clients. I like that whole little concept of being it. Cause you know, especially when you're just getting started, you want some type of leads to help you out. So um I haven't used Boost, so I don't know how good Boost is, but I've I've heard good things about Boost. So we'll have to see as far as that. Like if I, I I'm thinking about you know, using another software. So if I end up using Boost, I'll do an update. Um, cons. Some, this could be possible cons, but some people don't like that. It's a commission fee per every client on Boost. Um, that you're, you're also not able to hide negative rev reviews or, you know, being able to let people, you know, because sometimes, you know, reviews are not always fair. Sometimes people are just upset that they wasn't able to get this or you couldn't take them at the time. So, so being able to control your reviews because they're just like, they're just sitting there. So some people may or may not like that. Um, and I think this could possibly be a con for a, like literally almost all um, of these booking apps is there is no waiting list. And I think Stassi is like that too. Like there is no waiting list for when people, you know, sometimes a lot of clients cancel. So there should be some type of like waiting list for clients that that's waiting. Like, hey, can I get that spot if somebody decides to cancel and I want to fill in for them? So that would be great if Booksy or even Schedulicity, I'm not sure if they have it, they maybe do, but or Vagaro or Stassi have it so it's like a waiting list type of thing like okay this client just canceled did you want to book take up whoever takes it up first <laughs> they win the spot simple as that next um last but not least a newbie on the scene but they doing damage like they in here to stay gloss genius okay Gloss. Let's go to Gloss Genius. So, <clears throat> so Gloss Genius have a four, 14, 14 day free trial to try it out. See if you like it. Um, as you can see here, they got twenty four dollars a month for the the standard the standard fee, or they have an invitation only. For forty four dollars a month, for people like they reach out to them and say, "Hey, we got more to offer you because you get in that bread. <laughs> we want to break bread with you." So, everything you need, see, they listed right here, so you can see client knowledge. They got client notes, marketing reports, analytics, a lot, a lot to offer. So, I would say the pros for them just right off back, I think. Um, the client knowledge, being able to keep up with your clients, having notes, I think that is great. Like you want to have notes for your clients, like notes and put things there so you can remember who is who. <clears throat> Purchase history so you can see what they've done before. It's user friendly. They do the appointment reminders like a, a couple of other apps do that as well, like appointment reminders. Um, there's no credit card required during that trial period. Um, I like that. <clears throat> I really like that. You see this, um, the mobile app feature where you can have your own app. I like Gloss Jeans. It seems like it's it's here to stay. Like this is something that might be like out of nowhere, just blow blow up really because they're trying to have everything you need at, in one website or in one app. Um, some possible cons to some people may be um, – they don't take deposit for clients who don't show up. So that whole no re credit card required all the time, it might be for clients as well, not just us. Um, so there's no deposit, you know, you're not able to, you know, clients, you know, clients like to cancel, like at the end of the day, you know, they spoiled. They want to come when they want to come when they feel like they want to come. A lot of times things happen. Cool. We got to cancel. But our time is valuable, so you got to set it up where, you know, when y'all get your own spot from experience, set it up where you take um, some type of deposit or something, or at least for ongoing people. Like, you can do it, like, uh, maybe for first-timers, it's okay, but after that, they have to have some type of 
um, if they want to see you on a continuous basis, they have to have some type of deposit. So um, most of us, you know, you, you have anywhere from like 30, 30 to, and if you really book the busy, 30 to 30 to like 80 clients a month. Some people 100 clients a month, you know, but 30 to like, let's say 30 to like 70 clients a month. You know, you want to, you can control that for, you know, for a sole proprietor, you know, for somebody that's working for their self. You can kind of control that a bit and, you know, keep tabs on your on your clients, what they like, they purchase history, they book in, are they, do they rebook often how they are in and, a, and choose accordingly, like who needs that deposit and who don't. Otherwise, I say do it for everybody. Require a deposit. It don't have to be like a big deposit, but something small. So you can know, first of all, that they also got some money on the card. They ain't just use no prepaid card. And then when it's time to book, ain't nothing on there. But yeah. But thank you for watching. I hope this is able to give you some type of insight on what booking app you want to choose. Or if you want to switch over to another site. These are just... um. Actually, I said five, about six. I talked about six today, right? About six different booking apps that I was familiar with. I even, you know, went through the process of making a profile just to see how it is. And I just wanted to keep this very short, straight to the point. I can go more in depth in another video if you guys want me to. But I know, you know, you just want the the basics. What are the pros? What are the cons? Is this for me? Is it not for me? I let you guys know the pricing, free trial or not, and let's make a decision on what app will work best for you. See y'all in the next video. Peace.